Hey everyone, welcome back to the Evil Within. Um, oh dear, we should go down there. Got him. Um, we've been I, we've been talking a lot about like Ratchet, I think. Thank you. We can't even take the grenade if we want to. That's the funny part. Uh, we've been talking about gratitude, like, about, like, what I think is really important in life, and, and they, these are just my thoughts, you know, and, like, some people really, I am leaving you alone for now, and some people really do have the aspirations, like, to get really big on YouTube, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I just think sometimes it's good to have realistic goals, because, oh, we can actually just smash this too, we didn't need to use a rifle bullet to open the other one, whoops. Lesson learned. Like, it's fine to have those dreams, but again, like, just be realistic. Like, uh, how many syringes do we have? We actually have three. That's hilarious. Good thing I upgraded the stock then. Like, on one hand, like, I want to say there's a lot that we can do as humans, because I think humans have a lot of potential. But that being said, it's also about knowing your limits, too. And for what I mentioned earlier, like, becoming a big success on youtube and then we'll use success in the sense that like you want to hit like say a hundred thousand subscribers being a success in that way i think is very difficult and very hard to do because um there's so many of us like again like there's a lot of competition and i don't want this to come off as like oh like he's just complaining because he's not a big youtuber um you know, I hope I don't come off that way. Maybe, like, subconsciously, that's what it is. Oh, good. Oh, golly gee. Grab this first, and... Out of ammo. Oh boy. Uh, I don't think we have time to play rounds. I think he's dead too. Thank you, game. Whew. We're going to uh, catch our breath for a second as I try and recount my points um like i think there are things i could do to become if i if my goal was really to become bigger on youtube i think there are things that i want to do like i think it, there's a difference between i think being realistic and saying like yeah like becoming like a less player on youtube it's kind of hard to do now because the market space has been like quite crowded i think like that's one aspect of it but also i think there's also too like people who complain they don't want to take um responsibility for the situation because i think like here's the thing like i think sometimes like we're born into uh inconvenient circumstances or like there's some things that are working against us that we have no control over i think this much is true like i think there exist things in life where like we have like no control over like so for example our parents like our parents really have an effect on our upbringing but we have no choice over our parents so that's something we have to live with like in, in, in a lot of cases there's nothing that we can do. But on the other hand, too, like, say, if I'm complaining about being... i say, like, for me in particular, because I've come from a background where, like, my parents are fit, and I was in lucky enough to be in an environment to know, like, what good health is. We're out. Did that not work? All right, then. And I know, like, you know, like, good eating and stuff, too. So, for me, if I was fat, I feel like in that case, it was it would be of, um... Uh, I have no one to blame but myself, because it's like, well, I, I know better. And... And I think there would be a... There you are. 
there is a difference between me uh not cool this rifle is my best friends i have to say there's a difference between like i think all right for for anyone in this case stating something that seems like realistic or fact like that life like for example like oh, it is difficult to be uh you know big name youtuber and um complaining about it and not doing things to be to be proactive about your situation and like sometimes it's hard too right like for some people like they they want to be successful on youtube but they honestly don't don't know how they would do it and like, i speak as if there's some kind of magical formula and really i don't think there is i think there's a lot of luck involved i think there's also things that you can do to help make your channel like pop out i think there's definitely things that you can do but i also think there's also a large element of luck so it's like find that balance um like for example like being on a consistent schedule helps um having videos of a certain length help to like etc cetera, etc cetera. But at the end of the day, like, you know, it's kind of a, like, luck of the draw. And I guess how I sometimes feel about, like, just life, right? Like, I feel like I'm very lucky to be born in the same circumstances that I have. But, like, not everyone has that. Like, some people, like, they grow up in an environment that makes them, like, uh, more susceptible to, you know, illnesses or, like, depression or something, right? And, like, and it's not their fault. It's just because, um... They were born into an environment where, say, maybe, like, they're, you know... They are just born into an environment where it was easier for them to get depressed. Like, they have no control over that. Like, like on one hand, I feel like we have agency over our lives. But then, on the other hand, I feel like, well, what can we really do, right? Like, how much control can we actually have? And this is going, like, really deep and really into philosophy. So, um, and I don't know if you guys are okay with that. But that's just, like, some musings. I guess I could have just burned him in the first place, but, uh, whatever, that's okay. So those have been my musings about YouTube. And that's just something I've just been thinking about in the last week, right? And, like, again, um, you know what? I'm actually not really comfortable trying to, um, burn those guys. You know, we should have done that in the first place. But hey, you know, we're trying to play safe. So no no harm, no foul. Um, more bodies. We don't have any ammo. We don't have a lot of ammo, I should say. Hold on, let's actually make some bolts. One second here. Um, uh, the explosive ones seem to be really good, so let's make some of those. Shy ones are, eh. There you go. So they're not completely without a up creek without a paddle. But we're out of ammunition, so that's kind of bad for us. I get it's so easy to call up little things. I think some people like I think we all desperately want to be happy. But like I feel like so for me I firmly believe that like your fitness level is like related to your happiness. Like I think if you like just like exercise on a daily basis, like you're just gonna be a happy person. Like I firmly believe this. Like you can if you disagree, please leave a comment in the comment section below because I'd be really curious to hear your viewpoint. But um from what I've seen, like everyone who in my life who is like they take care of themselves like they're just happy for it um but i think that's just it. like i think in life like all we really want to do is be happy and like i don't think i think people have misconceptions about like what happiness is like some people think well i can't speak for other people because like what makes me happy might not make other people happy too i guess like in some cases some people have this like again misconceptions that's the word of the day i guess 
Um, but what makes them happy? But I, I think some people lack that perspective too. Like some people think that just owning more stuff will make them happy. But uh, on the other hand, this episode might go a little bit long. I feel like there's a safe one coming up very soon. Um, like for me, happiness isn't necessarily related to the wealth I own. Like it's like there's more to it than that. Like having good friends that helps for happiness. So yeah. and actually, this is a checkpoint so it gets my better judgment i'm actually going to end the episode here even though i just said i'm going to keep going forward and uh i'll see you guys next time bye